Oh, what's going on here? Some kind of emergency going on? Oh God, the prison's out of power. That's, that's, that's a problem. Can anyone fix the fuse box? Yeah, I can go check it out. <laughs> hey, is that you, newbie? Sorry, I don't recognize your voice yet. There are fuses in the workshop. You should know where that is. Yeah, I'm going. I hope you have a flashlight. Oh boy. This is, uh, this is not what I expected for today. This is not at all what I expected for today. All right. Do I have a look in here? What, what, what am I hearing behind me? I don't, I don't like this. What is this? What am I supposed to be doing here? Hey, it's Barry, do you copy, newbie? Yeah, affirmative. Are you next to the fuses? Yeah, but two of them are missing. Fuck, nah, now it makes sense. Uh, what's going on? The prison has gone back to the cells now, but Anthony Wilson from Block B is missing. He could be responsible for this shit. We have to find him. Is it possible to escape when there's no power? It's not all that simple, but time is on his side. Check the prison yard, the main exit, and the search room. He might try to escape through one of the doors there. I'll check kitchen storage in the dining room window. Be careful. Oh boy. All right, all right. We gotta have a little bit of a look around. Let me get me stick. I've got, I've got my stick. I've got my stick. All right. So we gotta check whatever this is. Ah, that's him. That's him right there. How you doing, Biggin? That was easy. <laughs> How you doing, Mr. Wilson? Hey, no, no. You, you, you can't stop me now. Is that right? Well, sir, stop trying to escape. Enough. Stop hitting me. Did you steal the fuses? Yeah, I, I took them. You know you're facing a longer sentence for trying to escape and disturbing, disrupting prison order. I, I had to try. I'm not safe in here. None of you can keep me safe. If you have a problem with the other prisoners, tell the warden about it. He, he, he is the last person who can help me. Well, that's interesting. You're going back to your cell right now. But before that, I'm going to be searching you. All right, Mr. Wilson, let's see here. I'm going to be taking those fuses, if you don't mind. Now, where's the second one? The, the second fuse? <laughs> yeah, I, I have two of them. I, I, I had uh, two of them. And what have you done with them? It, nothing. It must have fallen out of my pocket. Just, just don't hit me. I'm telling you the truth. And where could you have lost them? Do you remember? Uh, maybe it's somewhere in my escape path. It could be the hall, the workshop, the canteen. You wanted to escape through the canteen? No, oh, I only I took some food. I'll go check those places. But first, you're coming with me. Come on. Come on. Let's get you back to your cell. You prick. I don't appreciate any of this. I had to go. I had morning roll call, Mr. Wilson. Morning roll call. That's what I was supposed to be doing today. And now we have this. I hope you're happy. Now, where exactly is your cell? Come on, come on. You can work off that food that you stole. Let's get you around to your cell block, which is apparently right in here. All right, go ahead. Get to your cell. Gonna be right, uh, right, right about here. In you go. Now go on, get. Don't make me use this. Yeah, you have, you have a seat. That's a smart move. All right. So what are we looking for exactly? We're looking for the fuse in the workshop, the infirmary, and the canteen. So one of them is going to be right here. This is the workshop. Now, where exactly would I look in the workshop for the fuse? I'm guessing since it's been checked off of the list on the right, it's probably not here. I certainly don't see it. So that's, that's fair enough. It probably would have been a little bit too easy if it was in the workshop, wouldn't it? So fair enough. I'm thinking canteen, to be honest. I think it'll be canteen because he was rummaging around for food in the canteen. So I would assume it's going to be in here. Yeah, there it is. Right about there. I'm going to be taking that. And now we got to go get power back on. This is not how I expected today to be going at all. But I'm okay with it. It's something a little bit different. It's kind of neat. Again, didn't have this in free mode. But uh, let's go ahead and do one. Wait, where do you go? So hold on there. And then there. Wait, is that not right? 
Oh God. Hold on a minute. Am I not? Am I not? Am I not doing this right? Oh no. Oh no. All right. Um. Let's just take them all out for a second. So you were there. They're not. Are they numbered? I don't think they are. Hold on. What if I take you out? What if I put you there? No. So you're there. What about you? There. No. There. No. There. Yes. No. And there. I don't... There wasn't any immediate obvious pattern to those that I could see. Maybe I just... I was in a little bit of a rush or something, but that was a little bit weird. Either way, power's been restored and I am a hero. So let's go talk to the warden and get my, what I assume is going to be a reward. How you doing, warden? Good to see you, Kenneth. You all right, mate? Well, the power's back on, but I couldn't finish my job. If you, uh, you got any intel for me? Sir, the cause of the temporary power outage was Anthony Wilson from Block B. Is that so? How did he get the fuses? He probably broke in and tried to take the chance and escape. Hmm, understood. I'll get the papers ready in a minute. We have to let the higher-ups know. Looks like he'll stay here for a few more years. You're free to go now. What time is it? Uh, I think it's time for the briefing. I'll join you in a minute. I have to do something else. All right. So is that, is that the end of my shift? I think it is the end of my shift. Let's have a really quick look and see what we can buy for the prison today. So, I can buy stuff for my, my, my weapons, but I want something for the prison. So, level 8 required for that. Level 6, level 8. $1,000 for this cabinet. I have no idea. I guess that goes in a, in a cell or something like that. That's the gates. We can't get any of that right now either. That's fine. That's going to be the bedding, which can't get skins for that right now either. Bed frames similar story. In fact, what is... Hold on a minute. Old frame, refreshed frame, new frame. I want the new one. Well, the gold one, honestly, would be would be kind of neat. Or the obsidian one. That looks very cool as well. Uh, nothing we can do there. Cameras can't be upgraded. What about their pants? We can get the green pants. And honestly, green pant. Yes, pant. Would be... It would be something. I do like this as well. The, the sort of double denim thing could be, could be, could be something. Be very Shawshank almost. But then you've got the uh, you've got the old the old Slav one right there. You've got the knockoff, you know, tracksuit. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Can we do anything here? Level five needed for that. All right. I don't think we're going to be doing much. Can't upgrade the showers. We could buy another hammer workbench, which would make us a bit more money. But if we save up, we can get these other ones as well. So I think we'll just leave it for now and just save up some money. Let's just get to the uh, briefing room and see what's up. I think it's just going to be the end of the day, right? It's a briefing room. We got Barry Scott right here. Yes, Barry, I've done everything. Thank you. Today was nothing at all, really. I got a little bit of money. I got $10. The prison got 86 The guards respect me more. There's a 23% chance of a riot, which is... Uh, Fair enough, honestly. That's that's higher than I'm comfortable with. But it's a new day, so let's go search some parcels. All right, Bob Goldberg's box right here. Let's have a little look and see what Mr. Goldberg's dealing with. We've got this. Anything inside of it that I need to worry about? Doesn't look like it. What about in here? Ah, uh, we got a joint. Okay, I'm gonna be secure on that to get a bit of extra respect from the guards. Nothing in there that I can see, so that's fine. What about here? Absolutely nothing. What about in here? Hold on. There is a little something. There looks... Wait, is that something? No, that's just the reflection on the uh, on the thing. So there's nothing in there. And for the chocolate, there seems to be nothing at all. So that's going to be fine. We'll take that, put it on the check shelf. We've got uh, Olaf's box right here with nothing in the chocolate with nothing obvious in there nothing in the tuna what about this anything i need to worry about doesn't look like i end the book oh my god well that's not subtle at all i'll secure that too and then i think that's everything so we'll throw that up on the shelf he's gonna be really disappointed when he opens that book and finds absolutely nothing inside of it that's all right uh what about here 
doesn't look like anything. And doesn't look like anything. And doesn't look like anything. All right. That seems pretty solid. Let's take you, throw it off the shelf, and we're done for the day. Now, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? The guards kind of like me right now. The prisoners generally don't. And I do feel like getting a little bit more prisoner respect might not be a bad idea. So let's see if there's anything I can do for the prisoners out here that's going to make them like me a bit more. It doesn't really look like it other than the... Uh, other than the games. Hold on a minute. What is this? What do you want me to do? Mc, Mc, McQuilly. What do you what do you want, McQuilly? Hey, good day to you. How your defense skills going? My what? Your defense skills. I could see from a hundred miles that you're weak. So what? Well, I have the perfect thing just for you. Guards and prisoners here sometimes do group fights. You know, just for fun. I think. Maybe taking a few hits here and there would make you a lot tougher than you are right now. You're just in time for our next round. You want to join? Actually, sure, why not? Great! You won't regret this. Oh my god! All right! All right, all right, all right, all right. And whack! All right, boys. Let's be careful now not to knock me out. There we go. Ooh, plus four defense. I'll take it. That was actually kind of cool. I don't think the prisoners like me beating them up, though. I kind of get the feeling that it probably did the opposite of what they... What they wanted there. But a little bit more defense is, is probably not a bad thing. I, I feel like they didn't like it. I feel like my, my reputation with or respect with the prisoners went down. But my defense went up. So, I guess that's a plus. All right, all right, all right, everybody. Out of your cells, please. You want to talk to me? What's going on, Deckard? What? Let's do business, huh? Let's do some business. What do you got there? Maybe you want, uh, want me to get something for you? Hmm. All right. How much do you want for this? A get oh, 10% respect or I can sell it. Interesting. What if I give you this? I could give you both, honestly. And that'll get a little bit more respect from you at the very least. And for illegal things, I could sell you some joints. Which I'm willing to do. I don't think the guards like... <laughs> I don't, <laughs> don't think the guards necessarily like me doing that, but a little bit of respect here and there. A little bit of money in my pockets. Let's do some business. Have I got anything for you? No, I don't. All right. All right, all right, all right. Who are we taking with us? Who are we taking with us? Let me get my clicker. Who have we got today? Mr. Goldberg. Let's get going. Mr. Anderson. Let's get going. Mr. Bundy. Back to the workshop for you. Mr. Rodriguez. We're going to skip you today. Mr. Goldberg. We're going to skip you. Mr. Martin. Get going. Goldberg. No. Jackson. Get going. We're taking you down to the workshop. All right, boys. Everybody's going to be following me is what they're going to be doing. Down to the workshop. You know the drill. You're going to get uh, anything but a drill. And you're going to be working hard. Or hardly working. Am I right? <laughs> Mr. Goldberg, the hammer is yours. Mr. Anderson, the screwdriver is yours. Mr. Bundy, the file is all yours. Mr. Whatever your name was, the wrench is yours, Martin. And Mr. Jackson, the lathe knife is yours. Everybody get to work. Don't let me see you slacking off. You're getting the beaten no. stick. That's what's going to be happening. You slack off, you get the stick. You set something on fire, you get the stick. You look at me the wrong way. Stick. You do something wrong. Stick. You think about doing something wrong. Stick. Yeah. Yeah, that's not for what you did. That's for what you will do. Think of it that way. Goldberg! Get back to work! What are you doing? Hey, I hit my finger! It hurts! Fuck! You're fine. Just, actually, you know what? It doesn't look that bad. It doesn't. It looks like I was stung by a fucking bumblebee. All right, take a break for a minute. I got to deal with your idiot friends in here. Oh. All right, then. <laughs> How about you get back to work, Mr. Jackson? Get back there. All right. Are you slacking again? No, you're not. That's fine. You're working. That's good. You're working. That's good. I think everybody is, uh, is, oh, hello. 
Hey, something's wrong. Yeah, I'm just checking your work. I'm working as hard as I can. All right, everybody, line up, line up, line up. Your work shift for the du the day is done. Not for the done is day. Get out here. Where's the other one? You. Come on, Jackson. Let's get going. Get lined up. I'm going to be taking your tools back. Mr. Goldberg, that hammer, please. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Anderson, going to be taking that screwdriver back, please. Mr. Bundy, the file, if you wouldn't mind. You, the wrench. Thank you very much. And you, whatever you had as well. Fantastic. All right. Let's throw those all up there. And we're going to be searching everybody. Anyone's got anything on them? They're getting beat. That's what's happening. Con that's, 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 that's legal. That's fine. Well, uh, did I just take it? Oh, I did. Whoops. Well, you didn't see it, so that doesn't matter. Uh, let's search you as well. I might have hit the wrong button there. <laughs> Not going to lie. I didn't actually mean to take that, but... Whatever. Uh, I am going to be taking that drill bit. Absolutely going to be doing that. What about you, Mr. Martin? Nothing to worry about. Mr. Jackson, what have we got here? I am going to be securing that as well. Please don't take it. Hmm. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, uh, no, I'm confiscating it. End of story. Let's get going, boys. Let's get going. Everyone follow me. We'll get you back to your cells. You step out of line, you're getting beat. You don't sing the song, you're getting beat. The song, you're wondering what it is, by the way. Toss a coin to the water, oh, prison of plenty, oh, prison of plenty, oh. Mr. Goldberg, good to see you. Mr. Jackson, get back to your cell. Mr. Anderson, get going. Mr. Bundy and Mr. whatever your name was, Martin. Yeah, I didn't forget you. Get going. All right. What else have we got to do today? What are we looking at? We got free time, then releasing prisoners. All right. I kind of want to go back to the yard and I kind of want to beat people. I'm going to be honest. I'm hoping we can do a little bit of a fight club out there. Because if we can, I can get my defense up a little bit. Although it would be nice to do some things that might make me money. So, I don't know. There's also usually, there's, there's this guard here who wants me to do something. And I kind of want to know what that something is. It's, it's like a delivery thing or something like that. So... Let's just pop outside here and see what exactly Mr. Merritt wants. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey there! Hey, yo! Do you mean me? Of course I mean you! Who else? You're kind of slow, aren't you? What are you talking about? I'm talking about your moves! Your speed! You know what I mean? This prison's a tough place, and you're gonna need some swiftness if you want to work here. And I got a perfect thing for you. Uh-huh, what would that be? It's simple. Every day, I'll have some t tasks for you. I'll give you a package, and you're going to deliver it. That's that's it. The thing is, you're going to do it fast. Really fast. But hey, it's only for good. You're going to be a lot faster after a few training sessions like that. So what do you think? I'm in, I guess. Great! Your first task will be simple. Take this and run to the destination. Go, go, go! All right, all right, all right. Jeez. Huss, where am I going? Out there. Okay. I don't, I've got 30 seconds to do this. I don't know where it's going. It's going to the other side of the canteen. Oh, get out of my way, everybody. Here you go. Uh, I have a package for you. Oh, thanks. I've been waiting for this. Take care. Nice. I got plus two speed. I'll take it. All right. Let's get some prisoners out of here, I guess. This is, uh, this is, this is going well. I've got some defense today. I've got some speed today. That's beautiful. All right. We're going, I should probably put away the stick, right? Okay, let's get a prisoner in here. Who are we dealing with? How you doing, shirtless? What's your name there, boss? Andrew Lee. Okay, I'm going to be taking your things if you don't mind. I'm going to put those down. Just have a quick pat down to make sure you haven't got anything. Oh, for God's sake, you would have joints, wouldn't you? I'm going to be taking those, friend. Don't take them. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll pretend I didn't see anything. That's, that's, that's fine. I'll take a little bit of bonus respect from the prisoners. Let's see. The fingerprints look like they line up. The names all line up. The number is 823683, 823683, and 823683. That looks fine by me, Mr. Lee. Congratulations, sir. You are free to go. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you around, I guess. All right. Next. Who have we got? Who's coming in? All right, sir. What's your name there, boss? All right, Podolsky. Let me taking that from you. We'll put it there. And uh, let me just make sure you haven't got anything I need to worry about. 
All right, fantastic. Uh, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? Uh, the fingerprints look fine. Mark Podolsky, Mark Podolsky, Mark Podolsky and Podolsky. Number 876394. 876394, 76394, 76394. Okay, that looks fine. Congratulations, sir. You are going to be free to go. Enjoy the outside. We got anybody else coming in today? Oh, we do. Next! Who we got? Who are you? Oh, God. Nice hair, bud. I can't really complain. My hair's gotten long recently. Let's just give you a pat down, Mr. Lee. All right. Now let's have a look here. Fingerprints look about fine. Ricky Lee, Ricky Lee, Ricky Lee, Ricky Lee. 823764. 823764. Okay. That looks fine to me. Mr. Lee, you are free to go. You uh, you have a good one on the outside. Anyone else? No, there is not. Okay. Not bad, honestly. Not bad. I feel like I feel like my respect with the prisoners has gone up a little bit. My respect with the guards is 67%. That feels like a good thing. Where the hell is the briefing room? It's uh it's not here. Where am I going? Where where am I? It's right here, isn't it? Oh, it's right, right here on the right. All right, Barry, how you doing, mate? I'm all done for today. I didn't level up though. That's man, not leveling up is uh, is is a bit rough. I'm gonna be honest. Not leveling up is a bit rough. What are we doing today? Cell shakedown, free time, clean the prison, free time, evening headcount. Oh god, that's not really an exciting day, is it? You have several cells to check. Go to each of them in any order to search them. Go to the object to check it. If nothing's hidden, you can continue searching. Some elements you have to check twice, but in another area. If you find illegal stuff, you should confiscate it. Yeah, I know how this works. All right. Let's get these cells open. What happened in here? Good Lord. All right. Let's get these all open. What am I searching today? Cell number seven, cell number 11, cell 12, and cell 14. Okay. What exactly do you want, Mr. Rodriguez? Hey, you want some money? Uh, what's going on? Can you give this order to John Bundy? He'll cut you some money for your trouble. And for me, of course. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I like your approach. Take it, the goods. Uh, give him that as fast as possible. If he doesn't get it on time, I'll get kicked in the balls. I, I won't spare you. And don't try to cheat me. It's better not to have me as an enemy. Uh -huh. All right, good. Uh, about the cash, remember to take your money from John Bundy. He won't give you anything if you don't tell him about it. If you do it well, I'll be so grateful. Oh, and one more thing. Be careful around some guards. Some of them are very distrustful, and they'll shake you down. If you see a guard like that, find another way. Otherwise, they'll shake you down and take everything that seems to be off, including my package. So you better not get caught. Okay, so some guards are more attentive than others. That's fine. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. So Bundy is right there, but this guard is really attentive. So I kind of need him to like go that way. And then I go talk to you. I got a gift from you. Oh yeah, thanks. And money. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Yeah, I got a cut for Rodriguez. And my money. Yeah, here's 20 bucks for you. I'm gonna need more than that. So how much do you want? Uh, I want 50. No, no, no. It's not that much. Uh, 49 then. All right. You know what? I'll do I'll do 35. Yeah, yeah, sure. I can give you that. And what? Everything's fine. Package has been delivered. Payment. Uh, I'm taking all of it. You fucking bastard. Don't tell me you're quite okay even as a screw. You guys will be shot. You'll regret that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sure I will. All right, what's going on back here? Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Hey, knock it off. You know what? You sit back down. That's what I thought. All right. Now, wait, hold on. So these guys will buy things from me. Hold on a minute. Deckard, let's do some business real quick. Um, I want to sell this to you. And I've got nothing illegal to sell to you. So there you go. Thank you for the money. All right. So what are we looking for? Brian Martin. Wasn't he right here? Yes, he was. How you doing, Mr. Martin? Giving you a pat down real quick, sir. Fantastic. All right. Going to be checking your crapper for uh, for contraband. 
Hopefully I don't find anything in here. Hmm. All right, fantastic. Gonna be checking the seat as well, just to uh, make hmm. sure there's nothing in that. All right. And uh, the mattress. You got anything in here, Mr. Martin? Hmm. Look at, why have you got spicy dried beef in your cell? I'm taking that, sir. That is my spicy dried beef right now. And I'm going to enjoy it, is what I'm going to do. Anything under the pillow? Oh, for God's sake. I'm taking these drugs as well. Which, you know, the prisoners don't like it either way. If I secure something, they don't like it. If I take something, they don't like it. So I'll leave your orange aid. That's fine. As for the sink, what are we looking at here? Hmm. Nothing. And hmm. nothing. All right, Mr. Martin, you're good Mr. to go. Martin, what are we dealing with next? Where is Walter? How you doing, Walter? Giving you a quick pat down as well there, bud. Oh, for God's sake. I'm taking that. In hmm. fact, can I just very the quickly... If I, can I sell point. that back to you? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Seems like a great idea. There you go, bud. Thank you for your money. <laughs> that seems really broken. Hmm. That seems like a really, really broken way to do things. Like hmm. take, uh, I, that, that's that's corrupt as hell, man. That is so. There's so much corruption right hmm. there. Like just search him, take the illegal stuff, and sell it back to him. Hmm. Oh, I love it. That's, that's so good. Let me have a look under the pillow. Nothing to worry about. That's fine. Let's just check the mattress as well. <laughs> See if we get anything. Power bowls. All right, I'm going to be taking those. And I'll sell them back to him as well. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's so good. And uh, let's have a little look under here too. Just to see if there's anything to worry about. Energy drink. All right, bud. I'm going to take that as well. All right, Walter, how much money have you got left there, fella? $18. Fantastic. Give me nine of that. Give me six for that. Enjoy your $3. Um, <laughs> pleasure doing business with you, Walter. All right, Olaf, same story with you. Let's see what we can find. Nothing on you. What about in the cell? Okay, we got a chocolate bar down the toilet. That's fair enough. We've got joints under the toilet seat. I'm going to take those as well. Hey, don't take that away from me. It's for my, 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 my uh, medical needs. And uh, no, I'm confiscating it. End of story. Uh, at least I was trying to make a deal. Hey, Deckard, I've got some stuff I took from Olaf's cell that I think you might be interested in. Here's some spiced dried beef. Here's a chocolate bar that was down the toilet. Here's some joints there, bud. You enjoy all that and thank you for your money i do appreciate it very very much so what are we looking at here we're looking for cell 14. it's gonna be sven right here sven i'm gonna be patting you down there bud you got anything i should worry about thankfully that's gonna be a no there is 100 percent an escape hole behind this isn't there wait i take that back there's not gonna be all right lovely the searching is done so let's head out to the yard and see what kind of trouble we can get into Hopefully a little something something interesting. Hopefully I can huh? I don't know if I want to level up my stamina or my speed or whatever. I I kind of feel like actually leveling up my speed is uh, is probably a good idea. So let's have a little conversation with oh. He's not out here today. How you doing, Merit? You going to be you uh, you you working? If you get what I mean, you uh you working there, Clarence? Hi there. You're here to work in your speed skills. Yeah, give me something. Sure, speedy boy, take this and go, go, go. I gotta get out to the uh, out to the yard. That's fine. Oh, I've got two of them today, though. All right. How you doing there? Whatever your name is. Let's have a chat, Svensson. I've got a package for you. Thank you. Let's let my stamina recover, and I can sort of book it in the other direction. Let's get going. We should be able to do this relatively easily. Doesn't look like we're going to have too much trouble. Still 30 seconds left. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident about this. Uh, guy's going to be in the workshop. Move, everybody. How you doing, Griffin? Here is a package for you. You're very welcome. And plus two speed. Don't mind if I do. All right. So now I've got to clean the prison. Oh, one of the places I have to clean is the workshop. All right. I have... Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no. How do I... So, what am I actually cleaning? What do I... What do I... Right, I've got a mop. How do I... Oh. Oh, okay. 
Oh, that's easy enough, I guess. Are there more footprints around here I have to worry about? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. We have a sponge. Oh, and then it marks the things I have to clean with a sponge. All right. So we clean this. And that's... Oh, that's easy enough. Yeah, let's just go up to the things and press E. And we're, we're good to go. All right. I feel like we should probably be getting the prisoners to do some of this. But the canteen, or sorry, the workshop's done. So next is, oh, that bloody door. Next is going to be, I would imagine, the briefing room, I think. Absolutely. Wait, no, hold on. Absolutely. All right, what am I doing in here? Oh, God, what is, why is there blood in the briefing room? You know, I don't even want to know. And bloody footsteps in the canteen as well. All right. I mean, that at least explains itself for the most part. Whatever this is, I don't really know. Someone's probably spilled some milk, I guess. And we also have something back there I need to worry about as well. What is this? More just dirty footprints, I guess. We'll get those cleaned up. No problem at all. As for the sponge, we're looking at, what, one spot that needs cleaned? All right. How are we doing, gentlemen? Let me just clean that table for you, if you don't mind. Thank you. Oh, I'm level five. Lovely. All right, so what are we doing? We get free time, then evening head count. Okay. I kind of feel like I should go and do another another speed run, right? I feel like combining some stamina increases, I've had like two of them with plus, you know, two speed or whatever it is. Seems like a pretty good way to go. All right, Clarence, you want to come over here? No. Wait, oh, I think his his thing's only daily, isn't it? So I can't just do it every break time. So that's fine. We can head out here and we can go talk to this guy about increasing my defensive abilities, I guess. And we'll just beat him up again and see what happens. I think this is like probably, I need strength training is what I need. So this guy gives me like, wait, maybe, maybe this is strength training. Hey, how you doing, wimp? Who are you calling a wimp? Well, you, of course, you're really wimpy. I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> what a fighting spirit. Unfortunately, you're not a match for me. Instead, I have a proposition. Uh-huh. We have a little uh, fight club here in the prison. Guards and inmates go against each other. There's some prizes to win. But it's just a good way to blow off some steam, you know. You're new here. And, uh, well, you are weak. So it's a good chance for you to grow some muscles. If you know how to work in your strength, just hit me up. I'll find you an opponent. So what do you think? Yeah, give me, uh, give me someone. I'll destroy him. Hey, it's a good boy. Your first fight is gonna be this guy. Have some fun. Wait, what? All right, all right, all right, all right. So this is strength training, apparently. Well, let's just see if I can get you in three. There we go. Plus five strength. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do at all. Should I not be, like, taking this trash somewhere? Can I throw this at someone? Oh, I can! Okay, you seem to be having some trouble, so, um... Let's hit you with that. Can I put it in the trash? Food scraps recyclables. I don't know what this is. So we'll put it in food scraps. We'll grab this, and we'll put it in uh, food scraps as well. There we go. I, I guess that's fair enough. There does seem to be just an awful lot of trash out here. I don't have to pick all this up, do I? I don't imagine I do, and I don't imagine I'll get anything for doing it, so I'm not going to bother. Let's just go and do evening head count and uh, get done with today. Because we have leveled up. We've actually done a lot of good today, I think. So... I imagine the evening headcount is going to be pretty uneventful, right? I'm saying that on purpose because it might be famous last words and it'd be funny, but I I would imagine it's going to be sort of seriously, sort of not. This routine is a little different from the morning one. Now you have to make sure all prisoners return to their cells. They should be in front of them as you show up. Use the clicker to cross a prisoner off the list. When somebody isn't standing at the cell, beat them, essentially. That's fine. All right, all right, all right. Everybody to your cells, please. Everybody to your cells. Do not make me ask again. All right. Mr. Martin, what's going on? You haven't heard? Roll call. Yeah, it's roll call time. And what are you doing here? I'm walking here. 
Maybe walk yourself to your cell. Yeah, maybe I will. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Martin, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my god, I'm getting beat up. All right, all right, we're doing this. Goldberg, sit down. Martin, come here. I asked what you're doing here. Uh, maybe you'll walk yourself to your cell. If you say yeah one more time, I'll shove my club down your throat. Get going. All right, who else is walking about? What the heck? Why is there an alarm? Oh my god. How? Podolsky, how the hell did you manage to set the bars of your cell on fire? I'm I'm only slightly mad about this, I'm gonna be honest. I'm slightly impressed. What are you Can you can you get oh for God's sake, get to your cell? Stop stop the fight and I've had I've right. Oh god, how has someone been badly injured? Hold on a minute, who's injured? Oh my god, okay. Alright. All right, all right, all right. Martin's injured. We're gonna need him out of here. Get him to a doctor. Okay, where? What are you, what are you doing, Sven? Roll call. Move it. I, I'm 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 talking to you. I uh, I don't like being ignored, Sven. Get to your cell. All right. Job done. Deckard, a word please. I want to do some business if you wouldn't mind. Never mind, I don't have anything. You go into your cell, fantastic. All right, is everybody at their cell? Looks like it. Let's do a uh, real quick head count. Goldberg, Anderson, uh, Bundy, Rodriguez, Williams, Goldberg, Martin's dead or incapacitated. Goldberg, Jackson, Deckard. Johnson, get in there. Uh, Olaf. Go Gordon, are you new? All right. Uh, Rascal, get in there. Wilson, get going. And Podolsky, get going. All right. Everybody's in their cells. That's fantastic. Let's go ahead and close them up for the night. Beautiful. All right. Well, that's that, I guess. Let's get to the briefing room, talk to the guard, and be done for today. How you doing, Barry? Good to see you. Re daily report, of course. Not too bad. Got some money. The prison got some money. Let's continue and see what's going on. What are we doing tomorrow? Attendance checking. Okay, so we're doing attendance. We're monitoring. I don't really know what that... Oh, that's going to be CCTV, workshop, and shakedown. Okay. Not the most exciting day, but to be fair, there was also, you know, the the blackout, which I didn't think was going to be an exciting day, an exciting day either, so well, we never know what's going to happen.